Okay, so our page is starting to look really, really awesome. Now let's just add some links to our social media profiles. So to add some icons, some nice looking icons, what we can do is we can go to one of our tabs and let's search for Font Awesome. And I already have the link, so fontawesome.io. If you click on icons, you can see that there's a bunch of these icons that we can use. For example, we can say, uh, we can search for Facebook and they have an icon for Facebook. So this is really awesome. So you can click on this and we can copy and paste this, okay? And let's go in here, index.html, and then under our p tag, we're gonna put this i class equals fa, fa, okay. Let's save this, jump back into index.html, refresh the page, and we notice that nothing has appeared. So actually what we need to do is we need to uh, include the font awesome uh, CSS, the style sheet. So what we can do is we can search for font awesome CDN. CDN stands for Content Delivery Network. Don't really have to worry about what that means right now. But basically what it is is you can use this CSS um, style sheet. Uh, you don't have to download it onto your website. You can use another server. That basically, that's the that's the gist of it. But you don't have to really understand what a CDN is. Um, but we can just basically copy and paste this into inside of our head, and we save the page. We refresh it, and we have this little Facebook icon here. Okay, cool. So let's search for some other icons. Perhaps Twitter. Okay, Twitter Square. And we copy this, we go back into Sublime. Under our Facebook, we do Twitter, and then maybe uh, a globe for our personal website. Um, again, we copy and paste this, like that, and refresh it, and boom, we have these small little icons. But these are too small, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna style them and make them a little bit bigger. So what we can do, we create a new div inside of a div. So you can do that as well. And we're gonna name this uh, social links, maybe, or nah, social icons. Okay. And we're gonna close this div. But again, this indentation is not constant. Uh, we need to make this consistent. So now this is good. So we know that the div st uh, starts here, the div ends here. And inside of this div, we have all of this content. So we refresh this page and nothing has happened because we haven't applied any CSS to this social icons class. So what do we do? We hop into master.css and we write some CSS code for it. So uh, what is it? Social icons. And we can say font size 40 pixels. So for icons, you can just set the font size and it will get bigger like this. So this is quite nice. Uh, now what we need to do is we need to actually link it to a web page. So links in HTML, you declare with a href, then the link to the web page. So for Facebook, mine is facebook.com slash tagi.mori. And then I'm going to add target equals underscore blank. So what this does is it opens the link in a new window or a new tab instead of opening it in the current window. Um, so then again, we have an opening A, and then now we need to close it, right? Same thing goes here, ahref, http, and then uh, I think it's twitter.com slash takitiromori. Again, uh, target equals blank. And then close it. Uh, and then again, for the website, Okay, www.takihiromori.com and then target equals, whoops, target equals underscore blank. All right, and I close it like this. I save it, I refresh the page, and boom. Suddenly, the links have turned into this ugly blue. And we want to fix this because it looks really bad. So what we can do is we can say social icons A. So what this means is the... Uh, let's. This is applying the CSS for the A tag inside of the social icons class. So what we can do is we can say color white. We save the page or save the file, hop into the browser, 
refresh and now we have this white icon and if you click on the link it opens in the new tab and we have my Twitter account here. Cool.